All right, guys, we took the first half of the day off, but it's sunny now, no more rain. We're gonna jump in the pool. So our pool is functional. This feels good. She Just thinks I'm gonna try and throw her in the pool. Come here. <laughs> You're too hard to catch. You're too hard to catch. Oh, Liza's asleep. Come here. Good luck doing it with one I got you now. I got you now. <laughs> you should just jump in with us. I was already in. You're not now. You didn't, I can't believe you didn't tell me how ridiculous I looked wearing my tank top yesterday. I was editing and I, and I was looking at myself on the trampoline because Veronica said I was turning sideways during my, my front flips. And uh, I look so ridiculous with my farmer's tan. You know, so you know what I did? I went ahead and put tanning oil on the parts of me that are white <laughs> in an effort to kind of even things out. Is that a good idea? Yep. Was it good? Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Get away. <laughs> what, are you, what are you testing here? I'm checking the pool. What's it look like? Hardness is a little high, chlorine is low, the pH is high, the alkalinity is high. <clears throat> That's about all I know. Don't what, know much about pools. What are you gonna do about it? I don't know. <laughs> Research on how to bring down the pH and alkalinity. You realize pH is acidity. pH is the difference between acidity and... Base. Base. Right, a high pH is high acidity. It's basic. No. Yes, huh? Read it. Read it, figure it out. And while you're figuring that out, I want you to help me figure out, we need to figure this out together because out here in the yard, I've noticed for the past few days, uh, these little tiny bugs, teeny, teeny, tiny little bugs, they keep biting us. I've noticed every time I come outside, no matter what time of day it is, there's these little bugs, you can barely see them, and they are highly attracted to like bright colors, particularly white. Eliza was out here earlier with her white hat and the bugs were all over it. Yeah, so together we need to figure out what kind of bugs are these and how do we get rid of them? Because they are annoying and they bite. So you found the answer. What's the answer? Listen here. Measurement of relative acidity and basicity of water on a scale of 0 to 14. A pH of 7 denotes neutrality. If pH below seven indicates water <laughs> is acidic. pH above seven shows water is alkaline or basic. So, so the lower the number, the more acidic it is. So what you're saying is that I was wrong. You are wrong. Yes. It's okay. I, I can admit that. But now you know. But now you're gonna get thrown in the pool. No. You're on the trampoline, honey. Yeah, can you believe it? What are you gonna work? Huh? Are you gonna do a front side roll or something? <laughs> if you watch the vlogs every day, you know that a couple days ago, the boys' bunk bed was broken again. Um, so I'm gonna fix it again. Before I start, look at Veronica. What? Veronica Moen. Moen. <laughs> We're going to uh, tag team the Mo, but while she's doing her part, I'm gonna fix. I'm gonna fix this. It's 
done. I just need to put it on there. I chose this board because, honestly, I thought it had some character. I wasn't mad about the end being rounded there. It'll serve its purpose. Now I'm gonna start mowing. Now you need to explain to me how on earth you get a push right a push mower <laughs> stuck. Uh, I didn't. What were you doing? It. Donuts? Were you drifting, <laughs> drag no. racing, or something no. here? It got stuck on the the corner of the house. Oh my god! And it's like stuck. I can't. Uh, I got it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> All I had to do was one good yank on it. Nuh uh. You had to twist it. It was a yank and a twist and a. And a pull Who's away. counting anyway? It's out. I'll make a deal with you. I'll trade you straight up, baby, for lawnmower. Well, I would definitely take the baby over a lawnmower. Now that Veronica made it dark outside, she's, she made it dark. I don't. I gotta finish this. It's not done. It's not done. Of course. That's why I'm gonna fix this right here and this right here. You guys gotta learn to not jump on your beds. And I can say that this wood is not the best choice. This flimsy crap right here. No, no. Are you crazy? Get down. You gonna tell our gladiators good night? Good night. Mm. Carson, you can tell the gladiators good night. And that's how it's done. That's how I love my coffee. A little bit of creamer, a little bit of sugar. It's perfect. It's supposed to do this all day. Rain, rain, rain. That's fine though. We need it. All right, so I promised you guys some Q&A. Let's get to it. Okay, time for some question and answer. If you guys hear kid music in the background, that's that's because I'm desperately trying to distract the kids while I finish up this part of the video. A lot of the questions in today's comment section seem to revolve a lot around uh, cameras and camera gear and what kind of cameras I use and what was my first camera um, and what's the best DSLR. So let's start at the top. I pulled out all my old camera gear and I wanted to show you guys in full like what all I have. This is all of my current camera gear, with the exception of the camera that I'm currently holding, and that is this Sony. So, what was my first camera? Well, the first camera that I bought was this Sony, uh, I don't even know what model it is. It was just a Sony camera. I think at the time this camera was like 260 bucks. Um, but I was really drawn to this camera because it had 10 megapixels and I thought that the quality was just superior on this camera. So I got it. And this I bought long before I started vlogging. So I used it as like my main camera. And I really got to know this camera um, and it, it helped me develop my passion for photography because you could change and shoot manual uh, the shutter speed, the ISO, and the aperture settings. So I could mess with this camera and get the types of you know shots that I wanted to get. Let's move on. When I very began, first began vlogging, I got this uh, ELF 110 HS, Canon PowerShot. Um, and it was full HD, that's the only reason I got it. And it was small and affordable. Um, which leads me to the answer for one of your questions. They want to buy a DSLR. What's the best one to get started taking photography? My advice to get the camera that you want to start taking photography is the one you can afford. 
Buy a camera that you can afford that has manual settings and start from there. My next point and shoot camera that I got was the 340 HS. I have another one of this very same one. Um, it's actually out in the car. You, you might remember I dropped it in the lawnmower so it's all like <sighs> scratched up and stuff. Totally still works and I would totally use it in a pinch if I had to. This again is full HD 1080. The next point and shoot that I got, the Canon S110. A really good camera, the quality is perfect, but these cameras go for like 280 bucks or something like that. Pretty expensive um, for a point and shoot, but it does the job. The only thing I don't like about this camera is that it clicks when you hear the autofocus and it picks up in the microphone, so I don't really like that camera. The first DSLR I ever got was this Nikon D5100 and I got it with this 18 to 55 millimeter lens. It's a kit lens. It came all together in this package. I think together it was somewhere around $700. This camera was the first camera that I ever really got to know photography. And for everyone out there who buys DSLRs and uses it on auto, stop. If you're ever going to take pictures that you are going to be proud of, Put your camera in manual and get to know the triangle of perfect photography. Aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. You need to know these things to take beautiful pictures and if you're not using manual settings, just go ahead and sell your DSLR. Some of the lens I got with that is the 55 to 200 telephoto lens and the 50 millimeter prime. This is a really good one. So this goes all the way down to 1.8. And if you know anything about aperture, Aperture is the value of the camera settings that gives you that really creamy, blurred out background. Um, yeah, so you, if you're gonna buy a DSLR and you wanna take great photography, use manual settings. If I get enough requests for it, I'll do a video on the how-to channel specifically about shutter speed, aperture, and ISO because Knowing those settings will help you create beautiful and incredible images. Next up in my lineup of cameras, obviously action cameras, you gotta have GoPros. Um, I have three GoPros and I use these a lot for different reasons. There's different types of cameras that you wanna use depending on the type of shot that you're trying to get. Uh, action cameras give you this really cool first person high action POV. Um, unless you put it on a drone, uh, with a three axis gimbal, then you get really steady, nice, smooth, wide, super wide fisheye shots. Uh, but GoPros typically for mounting on you somewhere and getting really cool first person POV shots. My other action camera is the Garmin Verb. Uh, this is the Verb Elite. Pretty awesome little camera. One of my favorite uses for this particular camera is time lapse. This camera shoots a native time lapse. So with the GoPros, you can set it in time lapse, but then you have an image sequence to edit. When you shoot time lapse with this, it's already done. I mean, when you plug the card in the computer, the time lapse is already done. You don't even have to mess with it. So I thought that was really cool. Lastly, my newest camera, the Panasonic Lumix GH4. Um, I love this camera for a lot of reasons. It's definitely a lot different from my first camera. The quality's amazing, but I mean, for a 4K camera, you cannot beat the price. So I mean, that's that's kind of the chronology of my camera gear. And someone else asked the question, how much have you paid for your cameras? I honestly couldn't tell you. What I've done, and what you could do too, is save up your money and buy your gear one piece at a time. You don't have to buy everything all at once. All of these cameras have probably taken me every bit of eight years to buy completely. Buy what you can afford. So if you're looking for a DSLR camera and you only have a couple hundred bucks, find a DSLR camera that costs a couple hundred bucks and get to know that camera and use it to heighten your skills in photography. I suppose if you wanted a definitive answer, on a great DSLR camera for beginners to get that's low cost. Um, I'd probably go with one of the Canon T3i, T4i's. Those are pretty cheap cameras and they have manual settings. 
MLB1276 wanted to ask, have you ever looked back and rewatched your old vlogs and thought to yourself, what the freak was I thinking when I recorded this? The short answer is, oh yeah. Any good suggestions on iPhone cables shorting out, how to fix or any good stuff like that? Mike88 aka Michael, my suggestion, um, Amazon. You can probably get a new cable for like 10 bucks. What is your biggest regret, the building buddies? My biggest regret, I don't think I have any. I don't think I have any real serious regrets. Every decision I've ever made and everything I've ever done has led me to this point right now. And I have to say that right now, I'm, I'm happier in my life than I've ever been. I better hurry because the kid's getting mad. I'm happier in my life at this point than I've ever been. I feel like I've truly found myself and what I'm supposed to accomplish. And I can't say that I regret any single one thing. Because if I, if I didn't do the things I've done before, I wouldn't be where I'm at now. And that concludes Q&A. Fluffy's awesome. He was pretty rambunctious earlier. He doesn't show off for the camera though, that's for sure. Once I catch it, you guys are gonna be like, holy crap, that cat's crazy, but I can't, I can't catch him on camera doing anything crazy. He just won't let me. I'm gonna feed the baby. She's, she's definitely needing some, some daddy time, so. I'm gonna set you guys down uh, and let you know that just, I appreciate every single one of you guys coming in every day and checking in with us. It's pretty awesome. Uh, we enjoy doing this or else we wouldn't do it. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. We're so glad to have you. Right? She's going to eat her whole fist. That wraps it up for today. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow.